Thank you, Ed. A 22 year old shot to death in Pritchard's Alabama Village today. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker is here with us. Shimani, you spoke to the young man's older brother. He said that the victim was a father. Certainly people who live in the area are just fed up with all the gun violence. Yeah, that's right. I talked to a few people off camera today, including the brother of 22 year old Jitavius Thomas. He told us he leaves behind two children and some Alabama village residents I talked to say, although they didn't know the young man personally, the sad situation shouldn't have happened in their community. A Facebook Live video captured the moments after Pritchard police responded to a call about a shooting around 6 o'clock Thursday morning in the Alabama Village community. One neighbor told us they heard multiple gunshots before police arrived. Pritchard police told us when they got there, they found the body of 22-year-old Jitavius DeMar Thomas, father of two from Mobile. Right now, detectives do not know what led up to the shooting, but people we spoke with say they want to take back control of their community. Detective Robert Martin with Pritchard Police couldn't agree more. I know people are tired of this happening. I'm tired of it. I, I'm, it just frustrates me every time I see a young man laid out on the side of the road waiting for uh, Newmans to come and pick their body up and take them down to the Department of Forensic Science. I just sit back and look and I just say, well, this person had no clue that this was truly their last day here on Earth. Detective Martin says cooperation with police is the first step in taking back their neighborhood. People have to be willing to come forward and talk with police authorities without attitudes, but all of us have to work together. There are cameras that are spread throughout Alabama Village and around the city of Pritchard. Martin says they will be looking into them to try to figure out what happened. They do work, so um, we are looking into checking all those footages on those cameras in that area to see what we can see. Um, so, like I tell people, the, the investigation is ongoing, but it takes time. As Pritchard Police continue to investigate, they are urging anyone with information to come forward and contact their department. Reporting in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.